Do 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 do. Oh, this thing's playing with me today. Oh my goodness. All right. Hey, 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 y'all. Isabel here, Sparkles in the ATL. Gonna go ahead and get started in just a second here. Let me refresh my video screen here. I know not everybody's popped on yet, and that is a okay. I'm also making sure that our connection works okay over here because if it's not, I'm gonna have to switch to something different. So we shall see. Oh, see, that's gonna be a problem. Please check your network settings and try again. All right, I hope this works. All right, and I think we are set to go. All right. Let's make sure it's all good. Hello, hello, everybody. Sparkles here. Hope everybody's having a great day today. Everybody shout out where y'all from when you pop on. Hello, hello, Stephanie. How are you? Anna, long time no see, sweetie. Okay, I'm going to get this out of the way because I do have to pick up my son later today. So, can everybody hear me still good or no? Making sure first. So if you can, let me know. Because it says I'm live streaming, but I can't see y'all. Are we all good? I won't keep doing it if we're not. Hello, hello, Deb. How are you? Are you able to see the screen right now, honey? Hi, Linda. Because I'm having some funky things here. I might switch off of the Mevo real quick and uh, redo this one. I don't know what's going on with the Mevo today, but it is not cooperating with my phone. And I may have to set my phone up over here. Okay, so if y'all can see, I'm just going to go ahead, even though I can't see anything. Hi, 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 Pam. How are you? All right. So I'm just going to go ahead. If something freezes out, y'all let me know. Um, and if I have to stop, I have to stop and, and, you know, get things going again. But I just know my Mevo camera is not doing it right. All right. So here we go. We are going to make a unicorn slash horse today. Um, my horn did not dry, so I cannot put the horn on at the very end. But I'm going to show you what we're doing. We're going to do it with burlap. And I did modify the board. So if you look down here, um, I cut the board off over here. Okay, because I did not like, um, I didn't like that part right there. So I was like, let's go ahead and get it going the other way. Uh, so I went ahead and cut that off to give it more of a rounded appearance. I also added some extra holes as well. Um, and then I added extra holes up here to the top as well. Hello, hello, ladies. Hello, Tina. Um, we're also going to use this beautiful mesh. I saw this and I liked it. I loved it. And I had to have more of it. So I got this gorgeous little mesh right here. Um, so that's the one I'm going to be using for the main today. Isn't it gorgeous with the yellows, the blues, purples, pinks? Oh my gosh, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Now this is a six inch burlap, um, but my pre preference is 12 inch. Um, but I just didn't have any on hand. Now, when I put the kits together, the kits are actually going to come with 12 inch, which, which is fabulous because it allows for better coverage and you don't have to use near as much. With the six inch, I'm having to use a lot more. Okay. Um, all right. So we're going to go ahead and get started here. I'm going to gather it up. Okay. And hello, hello. And we are going to go ahead and we're going to pin this one under. Okay, like so. So, we're going to get it over here on the back and get it started here. I'm just going to zip tie that sucker down. Aw, thank you, Pam, for passing the love. Thank you so much. Love it, love it, y'all. Definitely, if you feel inclined to do so, send some likes and shares my way. I would absolutely very much be grateful for it. Um, move that thing up here. <laughs> okay. All right. So now I basically have a count of one, two. Um, I don't have any rhyme or rhythm for how I'm going to do this. I basically do it for coverage. Okay. I'm going to do an experiment though real quick. Let's count for one, two. One, two. And so that's about what I pull out. 
I could do it here if I want to extend it. I could do it over here. I think I'm going to do it right over here. So basically right next to it to start off with, okay? And it's going to give it some nice coverage up here at the front. So that's why I don't preload the frame for this. Um, this is only my second time making the unicorn, y'all, or horse. It can honestly be either or. So, you know, whichever one. Hello, hello, Sharon. Thank you, thank you, girl. All right. And I'm using four inch zip ties right now. I alternate between four inch zip ties and um, between five and a half inch zip ties. So, one, two, there we go. All right. That's what I'm saying. See, that's why you kind of have to feel it out and kind of go from there. One, two. I think I'm going to lessen it a little bit, open it up, and I'm going to pop it on in there. I want it wide enough, though, that it's going to give enough coverage. It's going to get pushed together, all right? So I'm just going to preload a few of them right here in the front. There we go. Let's preload a few of these. I made the first one, and as soon as I made the first one, Within an hour of me posting it online, it sold. So I don't even have the first one to go back and take a look at. So <laughs> I'm going off a of rote memory here. One, two. So, and then praying that I get the same results, <laughs> basically. <laughs> okay, where can you get the frame from this, Linda? You can go on to uniqueinthecreek.com and you can get the frame from there. Um, I'm also going to have the kits put together as well in my shop. They're actually already available on there. Um, and I've got the supplies coming in pretty soon. One, two. The kits are going to be 45. Let me get this in here. And it's going to come with a roll of 12 inch in width burlap. And um, then it's also going to come with two rolls. This is what I call dark rainbow. I have a dark rainbow and a light rainbow. The first unicorn that I made, unicorn horse, that I made um, was a light rainbow. Um, the only thing I did to this is I altered it. Um, now this is the older style, Lori can tell you. This is the wooden one. The only difference is this one's wooden and the other one is acrylic plastic, which is great because then um, it's, it's completely weatherproof. The other thing is, is the bottom of the other one has a longer drop off than this one is does, does, but that's it. That's the only difference. The placement of the holes are still the same. One, two. I'm, I'm, I'm a sucker for burlap though, y'all. <laughs> I really am. I prefer the burlap to, to doing this one in mesh. But mesh works out good too. It's fine. It's just, I like burlap. I'm a burlap kind of girl, that's all. All right, now for this one, because I'm going to go down this way, I'm going to switch over here to a five and a half. The horse is sold out in the moment. Ah, I am so lucky, Lori, that I went ahead and ordered my stack of 75. Then I kind of wish I would. Wait a minute. What do you mean? That was stalled. You mean to tell me it's stalled in China? Because, girl, I was about to place another order. <laughs> I'm going to have to pull out from my the ones I have on Etsy then uh, in a pull out 20 for the kits then if that's the case one two you come around this way kind of made a boo-boo there I think hold up hold up wait a minute do 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 there we go had to kind of wiggle around that one just because the holes are a little bit further apart so that's the only reason I switched to a five and a half so I'm basically switching back and forth between four and five and a half Okay, it's a compromise between the six. <laughs> All right, and so from this point forward, like I said, I'm not preloading it because I'm just kind of feeling the placement as I go. One, two. All right, and I think I want the next placement to go about here. All right, so that's those two holes right there. So since those are further apart, I'm going to go reach for a five and a half. Wait, that was a four and a half. Pulled out the wrong one, y'all. Okay, right here. Okay. I'm going to put that in there. All 
going to go around here. See, easy peasy. Anybody can do this. Love it, love it, love it. Slow internet. Y'all, they're working on our, um, apparently they're, put, they're putting in, what is that called? Optic fiber or something like that? Out on the main road and it's been messing with everybody's internet. Oh my gosh. Um, I've had to just pre-record a lot of stuff just because it's, it's such a mess. The good thing is, is once optic fiber, Google fiber, whatever the heck you call it, gets here, will be very grateful for the changes that they're made, they're making. Frozen. Okay, so I'm gonna pull in here. Guys, if it freezes on you, stick with me for a minute because it's gonna come back up. Um, and as soon as I load the video up, as soon as I upload the video, a little bit. I think we can go for this one, y'all. So I'm gonna jump back over here to four and a half. Oh, great. Wonderful. One, two. Good thing I have my um, SD card as a backup. It sucks if it freezes. I can't do anything about it, though. Uh, connect. It sure did freeze, didn't it? Okay. All right. We got that there. I'm going to wait for a second. All right. Like I said, if it freezes on y'all... Um, you know, it, it's when you watch the playback, it's not going to be on there. One, two, and let's take it to this part right uh, about right. Let's do right right here. That works. This one right here. Okay. There we go. I drew these lines right here. As you can see, there's two of them because I haven't decided which one I want to use yet. Um, but I drew those lines as my own guide for where I want the burlap to stop and go. Yeah, I don't know, girl. I don't know what I should do on here. I don't know if I want to pause it and try to switch to the phone um, or what. I think, I don't know. I might have to pause it and switch to the phone. Um, well, gosh, booger butts. That sucks. Me and Google's going to have to have some words to say to each other because I'm not very happy with them right now. Uh pooey. Yeah, I don't get it. This sucks. I'm going to have to let my husband know about it too. One, two. But for now, I'll at least keep going with this. All right, we're going to, I think I'm going to stop it right there. Okay, right about here. Streaming to Facebook and being a pain in the butt. One, two. All right, we're going to pop it in right here. I wonder if I show. Go on there. Voila, in we go, all right? So now we're just gonna work our way around this way, okay? And we're just gonna keep going around in that pattern. So I'm gonna bring it around. And see, as you push it together, you don't have to worry about the, um, the zip tie showing anyway. So no worries about that. One, two, and we're gonna motion over here, actually. Let's put it over here because we need to push this forward a little bit. Right there. Yep, right about there. Okay, so I'm going to use those two. And I think we can get a four inch in there. So let's do that. Okay, one, two. All right, open it up. And I'm going to push it over here because I'm trying to get the coverage on the edge of the board over here. Once I pop everything out later, um, I don't have to worry about the board showing. So, but these are going to be a hit for spring. I mean, I don't know what the... Every year there's a different craze going on, you know? And the craze this year is unicorns. <laughs> I mean, they were coming last year, but this year they're really going nuts. All right. I'm going to keep going with that. One, two. Okay, let's see where we want to place this little fella. All right, because if you notice, I'm trying to arch my way up. So we're going to go probably right up. Let's do this. Do, 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 do. I'm thinking right there. So I'm going to go for those two. All right, a little further apart. So I'm going to go back to my five and a half inch. All right, one, two. 
I literally just got off of work, y'all. And here we go. Lori, did you ever tell us um, if... So is the shipment stuck in China? And I got 75, so I'm not worried about that right now, but they're going to go fast. I'm going to have to hold some for myself, too. All right. And one, two. I'm put that in here. Okay. And you just kind of have to play around with where you want it, where you want it to get enough coverage. Okay. So I think I'm going to go right here. So if you notice, I'm not using all the holes, y'all. Okay. Um, I'm looking for where do I get the best amount of coverage? How far apart can I put them? Okay. But again, the kits do come versus this is a six inch. The kits are coming with 12 inch. So, um, you're not going to have to use near as much as what I'm using to try to get the same amount of coverage. But this is what I had on hand with 6 inch, so that's what I'm using. My preference would have been 12. There we go. Okay, got that in there. We're just going to keep working our way around, like so. One, two. And I'm going to go right about here. So I'm going to use that two, those two. That looks like I can get a 4-inch in there. So if they're close enough that I can get a 4-inch, then I do. There we go. One, two. I do have to finish the horn. I thought I tried to do, do the horn this morning. Um, I had to prime it because the horn was styrofoam. The ones I'm putting with the kit, um, I can do an option of the styrofoam ones or the, the, the primer did not dry before I went to work and I was like, gosh darn it. So yeah, it's not painted so I can't put it on today. I'm going to use those two right there and since they're pretty close together, we're going to get a four inch in there. And the kits are also going to come with four inch and a uh, five and a half inch zip ties so that you can go back and forth, back and forth. One, two, and I just use a one, two method. It works for me. And put that in there. I have to make sure to go outside today and uncover my plants too. I've had my blueberry bushes all covered because of the cold. So now I gotta go back outside so they can get some sun. Lori, when she decided to come back on her vacation, one, two, she brought the cold and left it here in Georgia. All right. On her way back up to Canada. <laughs> yeah, we're going to put this right here. So basically now we're kind of doing the turnaround. All right. So I'm going to go for that. Again, those two are close. So we're going to put those in here. Two and open that up. I told Lori to have some drinks for me, so hopefully she did. There we go. And y'all don't forget, um, I do still have that contest going, so go back and look for the sunflower picture post. Um, and once we hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube, we're giving away a twenty-five dollar gift card. One, two to Unique in the Creek, um, and I'm also doing a giveaway for um, a kit. You can choose from, uh, you can have the Rose Kit or the Sunflower Kit, or you can even choose a Grinch Kit. I just figured for this time of the year, I was going to open it up to the other ones. One, two. So all you have to do is follow the directions in that post, and um, yeah, you're entered to win. So easy peasy. Two contests, one for the $25 and one for the choice of the Rose, Sunflower, or Grinch kit. So we are, last time I checked, we were um, like 40 subscribers away, and that was it. One, two. So we're getting close. I have a feeling it's going to be by this Friday. We're probably going to be doing the giveaway. So once we once you get up to this point right here, you don't have to use every single one. You can, but it's a waste of burlap, y'all. Um, I'm switching to every other one at this point. Okay. So just FYI on that part. Is that 
in four in burlap. This is six inch burlap, Char. This is six inch burlap, um, but again, one, two. The, what I prefer, honestly, is 12 inch. If you had 12 inch burlap, you would get much better coverage. And when I say much better coverage, you see how I'm kind of having to put these closer together? With 12 inch, you can space it further out and use much less, okay? Um, because the burlap does cost more. So, and I have a shipment of 12 inch coming on the way soon. One, two. All right, so at this point, I'm getting ready to go over to the side. So I'm actually gonna lock this little guy in here, okay, because we're about to lock him in on the other side. There we go, so we'll lock it here. One, two. I'm a one, two counter. Let's see what my one, two equals, y'all. It looks like my one, two equals about six inches when you pull it out. If you're the kind of person who likes to measure, um, I would measure between five and six inches or just count one, two. There we go. And now we're ready to get ready to lock it in on the other side, okay? So let me go ahead and put this in here, all right, and load it. I'm using a four inch here with the, with the ugh, zip ties. All right, here we go, one, two. And this is where, even though I counted one, two, I'm gonna see how we end up going because it looks like we may need to pop it over one more two. I think we're gonna pop it over one more two, y'all, coverage wise. So it's a feel as you go, like feel out the situation. Once you get up here to the front, you're gonna be using more um, zip ties as you get closer to the nose. All right, so we'll add one more and then we'll bring it. All right, there we go. All right, let's twist it. All right, and this is where we're gonna wanna Pull it up, feel your coverage out. Okay, and we're gonna do it right over here into these two. So, everybody's got a different method. This is what works for me. Awesome. Here we go, and we're just gonna continue around again. All right, flip it back over. I'm not worried about any show through over there because we're gonna take care of that at the very end. All right, let's keep going. All right, so now, here we go. We got one, two. All right, we are going to hunker this guy down. Let's do, um, we're gonna reuse this one spot right over here that we just used, okay? Let me, oh, some of y'all are entering the contest. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Love it, love it, love it, y'all. I can tell I'm getting the notifications pop up from YouTube on my phone over there. Okay, where's my other hole? Y'all, there it is. Okay, I had to look for it for a second. All right, let's pop it in here, like so. Pull it out a little bit. Okay, you don't need it too much, too high over there. And there. Okay. And let's keep going. Do, 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 do. All right, one, two. All right, and we're gonna bring this guy in right about. Oh, let's pull it down a little bit more. Perfect, right there. All right, so you wanna try to make sure that the height is about the same as you go around. All right, I'm gonna pop it in those zip ties over here. Okay, so I'm kinda of twisting directions as I go to get it to go in the direction I need it for. Okay, so sometimes I'm going diagonally. Um, just So just pay attention to your coverage as you're doing this. We're almost done with this part. The pedals are pretty easy too. Okay. All right, and I think the mesh, the, the burlap I ordered, one, two. 
is a lot wider than this one. And get that about here. Let me see here. I'm going to try to figure out where we want this one. I like this one about right here, y'all. That's what I'm saying. You have to play with it. See, if I were to have switched it over this way, then you've got that show through right here. But if I use those two areas, now everything's covered. So you just kind of have to figure out which direction you want to go into. All right. All right. If I can get that in there. My finger's getting a little stuck. I'm trying to hold on to the burlap at the same time. There we go. All right. So just like so. All right. Like I said, you just got to get creative with it. That's all. I'm a personal fan of burlap. There we go. It's my fave. Awesome. There we go. Look at that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, as I tell my students. All right. One, two. I got to post y'all what, what my students did for me today. It almost made me tear up. But I didn't because they don't want to see their teacher cry. It might make them cry. And then kids get scared. But they just did something incredibly beyond sweet for me today. And it just choked at my heart, tore at my heartstrings. Really warmed me. Brought, made my heart all warm and fuzzy. And brought a smile to my face. Hello, hello. Hi, Janet. How are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are working on a horse today that can easily be converted into a unicorn. So, one, two. All right. Okay, let's see where we want this guy. Uh, if we go here... Well, we're going to have to come in here and fill in the middle anyway. Let's go up towards the top. There we go. And we're going to use these two right here. Okay. Perfect. Loving the zip ties. Makes it so easy peasy. One, two... All right, and let's see which direction I want to go into, y'all. I could go down this way, but I think at this point, I might as well just go ahead and go up towards the top. Don't you think? I think so. Just which way do I want to go? I could go up this way. This way, this way, or this way. I kind of like the idea of going up more. So I think we're going to go up. So let's go ahead. This is where I created extra holes up at the top um, so that it would do what I wanted it to do, <laughs> basically. Awesome. And if you decide to go for a kit, they do come modified. One, two. Um, so you don't have to do the modifications. I have all the holes put in there already. Um, but if not, you know, it is something that you can do. There we go. Right there. It's not hard. Okay. Got that in there. I'm going to put that in here. All right. You got the way. Can't wait to get some of those horse wreaths. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I just checked Parcel Monkey and my stack of horse wreaths uh, uh, frames are on the way. So um, they should be here. What's today? Wednesday? Should be here by Friday or, or um, Saturday. Friday or Saturday. So I know I told everybody that they would ship out the first week of February, but congratulations if you already ordered the horse frames. Uh, your stuff's going to start shipping by Monday morning. All right. One, two, and we're going to bring this up just a little higher. So let me see what I can use. I think I'm going to use those two right there. Okay, so let me get a four inch. Hello, hello, Renee. How are you, sweetie? I'm missing some of my ladies. I know I'm at a weird time. I, I wish I could pop on at the normal nine o'clock that I used to do. One, two, but... My kiddos have not been wanting to sleep lately, y'all. <laughs> I cannot get those things to go to bed. So that has been ixnate. I've been having to do it right when I come home from work at this point. And then I basically do a video 
and then I go pick my youngest up. All right, I'm going to show y'all how we're going to fix that in the late in later. All right, look at that. We've almost got everything covered. All right, one, two. Okay, I'm going to come over here and. I'm going to start working my way towards the inside because once we come down here, we're going to work our way back up. Okay? So now I'm going to go in here and make sure I start filling in these spaces over here. All right? So let's go for these two right here. I've got quite a bit of burlap, so I'm not worried about running out. All right. So now we're going to work our way towards the inside. Awesome. Love this. I'm having fun with these unicorn wreaths. I just have to, I mean, it can be, oh, hold on. The burlap got stuck on the mesh. Got it. All right. One, two. All right. And we're just going to basically fill in spaces at this point. So, all right. We're going to use that area. And since that's a wide area, I'm going to go to my five and a half inch. There we go. All right, and in it goes. One, two, and zip that sucker in. And pull it up. Yep. There we go. Okay. And just rotate the frame as you're working with it. One, two, and let's see where we want to put this little guy at. I'm thinking this one over here works very nicely, but let's double check, make sure everything's nice and neat. Open it all up. Okay, perfect. All right, so you don't have to use every single one. Okay, I'm going to use those two little ones now, and I'm skipping a whole bunch in between. So I'm going to jump over here to four and a half. How's everybody doing on this hump day Wednesday anyway? <laughs> Anybody feeling it this week? One, two. I don't know about y'all, but last week had me dead tired. I thought the week before that was bad. Last week was real bad. This week, at least, it was Martin Luther King Day here in the United States. And, um, well, my husband didn't have it off. I had it off, and that, that three-day weekend really did help. <laughs> can you hold it up so we can see how it looks? Well, I mean, this is all you're seeing right here so far. So we're finishing the head area right here. So, and then we're gonna, we have a few areas to finish right here, and then we're gonna move on to the rainbow mesh. All right, one, two. Let's see where this guy's gonna go. I think we're gonna put him right, let's see here, right there those two spaces. Okay. Awesome. Feeling sick. Oh no, Deb. No getting sick allowed. You were getting on to me. You were getting on to me. You need to go to the doctor. You were getting on to me. I still haven't gone to the doctor though. I will go next week though, I promise you, because I know I can't stay on Pepto-Bismol forever. There we go. And working our way around. One, two. It's just a one, two. Like doing a country song. Country dance. One, two. Two step. All right, let's see where we're going to put this guy at. Okay. Again, you don't have to sit here going to every single space. So for like right here, I think I'm going to go for these two. All right. And these two are a little further apart, but I think I can get a four inch in there. So let's try it. Well, you know, mm, yeah, we should be able to. All right, one, two. Um, you know what? Hold up, y'all. Eh, I think it'll work. It'll work. I gotta get creative sometimes. All right. Open that up. Okay. There. That's better. Pull it a little if you need to. There. Alright, let's cut that off. 
and let's see where we're going now. One, two. I'm trying to figure out because I want to make sure this is why at this point it's pushing everything up forward. All right, let's do it right here. So these two are a little further apart. Which one did I want to use? This one? Yeah, these two are a little further apart. So for this one, you're going to have to pull out the five and a half inch. There we go. Awesome. One, two. And we're just going to stick that little sucker right on in there. Okay, like so. Look how thick he is. Hello, hello, Miss Kathy. How are you? Can't get into the doctor until February 14th. Well, that's not a very good Valentine's Day present. One, two. So I'm thinking this one, we are going to lock into place right here. All right, I like that spot. Those two are wide again. So pulling out another five and a half. Okay, up into here, up in here, up in here. One, two, reminds me of what I say to my kids sometimes. Y'all gonna make me lose my mind. Up in here, up in here. And when I say kids, I'm talking about my own kids, y'all. I'm not talking about my students. <laughs> Just had to preface that, you know, go back and edit it. All right, we're basically working our way around. So we've only got a few little pieces left, all right? No, no ma'am. No, we are going to switch to a different one for the rainbow. One, two, completely different. It's not hard though, so don't, don't, don't be nervous. All right, since we're doing a little turnaround here, let me see here, one, two, we need to turn this guy around. So I'm thinking about right there. Okay, that's going to be a four inch. All right, I'm going to stick that in there. We've got a few more to do for the burlap, and then the burlap is done. One, two. And you're pretty much going to use about 85, 90% if you're going with a six inch like I did. If you use a 12 inch, you're going to, I mean, you may get to half a roll. So you might be able to save the, the other roll for a different one or the rest of it. <clears throat> one, two. All right, we're gonna come over here and I am digging this one right up in here. That one's really wide. So we're gonna jump over here. Hello, hello. I see Leanne Graves on here as well. Pop that in there. One, two, and in we go. Okay, pull it out as you go. Okay, and there we go with that. Just enjoying my time. All right, one, two. It's like a one, two. All right, and let's see where we're gonna go with this, y'all. All right, I'm thinking, I'm digging this spot right over here. All right, it's pretty close. I can get a four inch in there. Hello, Stacy. how are you? Gosh, I love it, y'all. Thank you so much for blessing my page and, and for sending some likes and loves. Thank you, that was sweet. One, two, love it, love it, love it. That warms my heart, just like my students did today. I loved it. Oh my gosh, I really can't wait to upload that picture of what they did for me. All right. I would have never expected first graders to think of doing that, honestly. One, two. Ah! Thank you so much for sending them my way. I appreciate it. All right, let's see where we're gonna put this one up. Right here, I like that spot. Well, you know what? Let's go up a little more. 
All right, so we're going to use that one, and that's a four inch. Here we go. One, two, do, 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 do. Awesome. There we go. I wonder how long it'll take. This one will fly off the shelf just as fast, too. All right, I'm going to fill in just those few little gaps right there. And one, two. So let's see where we're going with this. All right, we're going to use that one right there. Um, it's a little wide. I don't know if we're going to get a four inch in there or not, but you know what? We're going to give it a try, okay? I appreciate it, Michelle. One, two. To do either or. The only difference is you'd add the horn, the horn for the unicorn. My horn's not dry, so we're making a horse right now, and then I'll add the horn when I'm done. <laughs> One, two. When I get to paint it tonight, because when you're painting the styrofoam, it, it, it takes a little bit. All right, we're going to fill it in probably about right here. Okay. Mm. Do, 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 do. Actually, I like it right over here. All right. So we're going to bump it into there. Honestly, the shape of this is just nice. One, two. There we go. Awesome. Because once you add the other part of the mane, um, it's going to cover it up. So I'm not worried about those edges. One, two. There we go. I'm going to add that in here. That's a good spot right about, yep, right about there. Let's see. Yeah. All right. So we're going to use those two right there. Okay. Awesome. One, two. In we go. Kind of like the rodeo. Awesome. Y'all, I haven't told my husband this, but I think we're going to get a pet snake. I've been thinking about it long and hard, and a pet snake would make a great classroom pet. Not as hard to take care of as a guinea pig. One, two stays in its cage. I mean, I think it's a great idea. I really thought about it. Of course, my son wants a hamster. So, I don't know. My, my husband's like no more rodents. Hello, Miss Mary. First time watching. Welcome, welcome, sweetheart. We are almost done with the top of the head, so we are going to move on to the purdy part at the bottom. One, two, and we're going to zip tie this guy in. Do-da, do-da. Here we go. All right. Love it. All right, so now that we are at this part, okay, so we've got the horse part, we've got the burlap part done. At this point, you're going to want to cut it about two inches out. So let me get my scissors. I was about to say cutter. Sometimes I can't talk. All right. We're going to cut that off. Again, if you're using six inch, you're going to use a good portion of the roll. You'll have some left. Um, you can always use that on another one as well. Um, and then what I'm going to do with this part right here is I'm just going to take it to the back and I am going to tie it down like so. Kind of like we would when we're doing it. Snakes are all creepy to me. I love snakes, girl. Love them, love them, love them. All right. So that part is done. Now we are on to the purdy part. Okay. And see how everything covers itself nicely. Um, I'm going to take care of the ear part at the very end because I do something else to it so that it's got more of that shape to it that we want. Okay. So there we go. All right. Okay, so now let's go ahead and begin. <clears throat> Here is our pretty mesh that we're going to be using. This is what I call the dark rainbow. So if you're going into my shop, it's dark rainbow. Hello, hello, Marilyn. How are you? I cut them to 10 inches. And it's a very, very simple fold. Honestly, you can use almost that you want to. Any kind of petal. 
Okay, so it's completely up to you. Now, there's a couple of ways to do this. I've seen it where people have, you know, they'll use these two holes going across and the petals face that way. Then I've seen you can have, you can use five and a half inch here and have the petals going straight down. I like them to go at a little bit of an angle. Hence again, I cut off part of the frame here and I also made some extra holes here so I can get that angled shape. Hello, hello. This is just a 10 inch, so it's 10 by 10. That's all. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with that. And I do, if I remember correctly, the last time I did this, I would do it here and then skip here and then go up, but I could be wrong. So again, every time it's a little bit different. So for this one, I'm just going to go towards the middle, towards the middle, and scrunch it up, almost like you're working on a sunflower. And then just give it a twist. But I don't want, you can lay them on top of each other if you want to. I prefer to have them offset just a little bit, okay? So that way they're not completely. So I think I'm going to go right here because I think I went too far down with the burlap. I think last time I went higher. So I think I'm going to start right here at the bottom this time. Okay. So each time is always a little different. But the good thing is, is like I said, the kits do come with the 12 inch burlap and they will come with two rolls of the rainbow mesh. So and we're going to put that in here. And you only need to put one in. But again, you can use any type of method you want on here, okay? You don't have to do it this way. This is just, you know, one way to do it. It doesn't have to be perfect, all right? And again, you're going to twist and bring it down. I don't like it on top of each other. I like them offset just a little bit, okay? Um, I'm also not going to use every single one, so I'm going to switch between it. I think for this one, I'm not going to use that, but I will jump up to this one over here. So I'm going to skip that set of holes. And then I'll flip it out toward, I'll flip it around at the end. You guys can see a little better. There we go. Okay, and it goes. Awesome. See, it just gives it a slightly angled look. Now, I'm also going to go one more up because um, I want this part hidden underneath the burlap. Okay, so let me take a look and see where we're going to put this guy. Okay, we've got a hole right here, and I think we can hide it inside there. All right, so we're going to do that. All right, we'll go in here and come out. So I do go just slightly underneath the burlap and reuse the same hole that the burlap had. There we go. Part, I'm gonna hide the top of this inside the burlap, okay? You have to pull this around. All right, it is, I will say that it is a little bit of a tight fit, okay? But this is what works for me. There. Okay, see? And then you pull it down and voila, like so. All right, so we've got that part going on at the beginning and we're just gonna keep going, okay? So I think for this next one, let's see where we're gonna put it at. All right, okay, fold it around. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. And let's see where I want to put it. I could put it here. I'm probably going to put it there. All right. I probably am. Okay. So we are going to use that space. It is a wider space. So I'm going to go for a five and a half in here. There. Okay. And zip tie that down. And then for these wider ones, definitely pull it tight. Okay. All right. 
let's take a look at the next one. I think for this one, I'm going to jump up here. I just haven't decided if I want to go for this one or this. All right. So let's check it out and we'll make a decision. All right. Okay. So I have a decision to make. I can go for here or I can go over here. I think I'm going to go attempting to reconnect. Ugh, go figure. Y'all, I'm sorry if the streaming does freeze. I can say that the playback won't freeze towards the end. Um, you know, that'll, that part will be fixed, but unfortunately there is a little bit of freezing right now while they're doing all that construction, which feels like it has been going on forever and ever and ever. So, but I can't make the county move any faster than what they already move. Okay, so we're going to figure out where we're going to put this one at. All right, scrunch it together, give it a twist. All right, and I want to hide this one up here, so let me see where. I'd like to get it under here. I think we can. All right, so I do put one directly underneath the burlap. Okay, and let me see if I've got a hole here. Yep, there we go. There. All right. And we're going to stick that in here. Okay. There. Get it where you want it to go. And pull it. All right. Got it. Those top ones are a little bit of a tight fit, but see, you open it up, voila, okay? So the top of that is hidden, so you don't have any of the petals poking out. We're just gonna keep going. Yeah. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to answer them for you. All right, so now, I think, we could go right here, actually. I think we can spread it out now a little bit more. Um, as you go along, you'll see that you'll be able to do that. All right, so this time, I'm gonna use this area. All right. Okay, you don't have to. You can put them completely close together. So, all right, and there we go. And another thing I do is I do like to um, work my way up at an angle. All right, fold it over, scrunch it, twist it and offset. Okay. And then for this one, like I'm, I'm gonna start playing with it. So I'm gonna move over a little bit, okay? So I'm gonna use those two this time. And they are wider, so we're going to grab the five and a half and put that in there, and in we go, like so. And pull it tight. Okay, At this point we are going to hide. Crunch it, twist it, offset it. And then make a decision where you want the other one. You, I think I'm leaning towards this one, but let me double check. I may jump over here actually. Yep, we're gonna jump over here to this section right here. It gives better coverage. So no, I don't use every single set of my holes. All right, we're gonna go in through this one and come up through here. All right, and lock it into place, okay? Hold it down. All right, so now we'll head over here. So it's not too much of a mesh intensive, you know, I mean, last time, I do remember, the last time I made it, I went through a whole roll, and then I went through just a few pieces 
on the other roll, okay? If I'm able to skip um, areas, spaces between them, I do skip spaces between them. So, I try to if I can. You know, that's not always the case, but I do try. There we go. All right. And pull it together. Hello, Catherine. How are you, sweetie? And offset it. And I think we're going to go for those two. Okay. So sometimes, so I'm skipping those two and jumping straight up to the one above it. go. Awesome. Do, 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 do. And can't wait to get to the main. Y'all, so I made one in the light rainbow. And so this is what I call dark rainbow. Um, so I am eager to see what it's going to look like at the end since I haven't used this particular color. We're going to use those two right there. That's going to be perfect for hiding the top of this, the petals. All right, so we're going to go right in here and come up through here. I know, aren't those colors gorgeous, Deb? That's why I'm like, I wanted to see. I got both of them because I was very curious how it was going to turn out. So there we go, right up here. I like that. So I'm going to be, I, I want to take a look at both pictures and kind of compare them. I thought the other one was pretty, but I'm really loving the colors on this one too. All right, see? So once you pull it up in there, you're just going to tuck the top of the petals and it hides it completely, okay? And you don't have to go through every single one of the, these holes and utilize all of them because with all this layering, you're not going to have see-through, okay? There we go. Scrunch it together and give it a twist. Ah, well, Bobby, you're going to have to make her one then. Now, for this one, you know, if I put it over here, it kind of leaves that extra space. You can, but I'm thinking I'm going to push it over a little bit, okay? All right. So here we'll go ahead and utilize this spot. I skip when I can. And then use it if I have to. I am going to bump it up, okay? Get it tight. Okay. I've already pre-cut a lot of these. I cut an entire roll because that's what I used last time when I made this. So I didn't want you guys having to sit there watching me cut mesh. All right, we're gonna go for this spot, so that way it'll cover up that little section over there. All right, and put that in there. Very easy. Okay. All right, right there. We're almost ready to work on his the rest of his mane at the top. Getting close to it, y'all. I'm going to pull out a more, couple more of those five and a half inch zip ties. And we'll have to make his best time. I'm going to have to try to do this on my phone instead. Get my husband to take a look at what on earth is going on. All right, we're going to jump over here. Okay, so um, I'm looking for a hole. There's actually a hole, right? Where do I want that? Do I want it right here? Yeah. Okay. So you're going to have to pull the burlap up a little bit so you can see where you want it. Alright, okay. I'll do it right here. Hold on, there we go. I was about to say. This one has a weird fold to it. There, okay. 
I'm kind of addicted to these. I kind of want to make one in almost every single freaking color. Like, you know, it'd be gorgeous, regardless of what color you choose. But I'm loving this. I was worried about it being too thin, but then I was banking on the fact that we were layering them. Um, and I was hoping that the layers would pull through. And they do. All right, so now we could jump over here. Mm -hmm. I think now, instead of staying at the bottom, um, I'm actually going to jump up here. So I'm going to skip those bottom two holes right there. I'm going to jump further up. Okay, because we're nearing towards this side, so I kind of want to go up a little bit. There. Okay. So again, you don't have to use everything. I think the next one I'm going to have to do is a, I haven't decided if I want to do a mesh one or not, y'all. I'm just not that much of a fan of mesh. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. So I, I think the burlap gives it a nice, nice clean look. But I'm still making a decision on if I'm going to do a mesh one or not. Ah, thank you for sharing, Sheila, sweetie. I really appreciate it. You're awesome. Love it, love it, love it. Kisses. Mwah, mwah, mwah. All right. I know that the next one I've got coming up, I've already told you all this before, I'm going to do the Alice in Wonderland, and we are going to do Dorothy. Alright, I'm going to jump up to here, those two right there. Alright, it's pretty wide, so you're going to need your five and a half. Do I sell with kits? Like the rainbow mesh is coming out with kits. So, it'll be part of the horse slash unicorn kit. All right, um, see how we have that space right here? So you just kind of want to keep going up into it, okay? Y'all, from all the mesh I have over there, I might actually get under a roll this, I don't know, this is going to be interesting, y'all. I might get under a roll this time. I might not even use it, it's going to be close, it's going to be close. Thank you, Michelle, sweetie, I appreciate it, honey. All right, so this one, hmm, let's look at this. I'm thinking that I want to, well, we're going to have to go with this spot right there. All right, I can't get it around. Let's pull out a couple more five. I didn't hear an answer. It froze again. Ah. Um, no, uh, I do sell some mesh, honey. So you'll have to go on there and kind of see what kind of mesh I have inside my shop. Um, I do have some for sale. But this mesh, the rainbow mesh, is going to be part of... Um, part of the horse unicorn kits. There we go. And pull down the burlap. See how it gives it a nice coverage? Look at that. I love it, love it, love it. Love, love, love. All right, look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, so we're working our way towards the end. And give it a good twist. Alright, and we're going to go, hmm, yeah, we're going to go this, those two right there. Oh, seal it. Do I seal it with an impulse sealer? No, ma'am, Dana, I do not seal this one with an impulse sealer. Um, I prefer not to seal things that have tin foil in them, and so this one does have tin foil. So sometimes tin foil doesn't seal nicely, sometimes it does. There we go, just like that. And pull it up, give it a good tight fit. And honestly, it's not fraying that bad. There's only, it's fair, it's fairly, when I feel it, it's fairly thick. Like when I say thick, it's like rough. Like it looks spaced out, um, you know, but it's not, it's not flimsy. Like there's one on Craft Outlet that, I just remember receiving it, iridescent something. Anyway, I was like, holy crap, what is this stuff? All right. Okay. We're going to go over here and go up to that one. All right. Do, do, do. 
And here we go. Pull it nice and tight. Isabel, are you going to be designing any designing at any of the retreats? Sheila, I don't know, sweetheart. Um, I have not approached any of them. So, and I haven't been approached as of right now. Oh, actually, hold up. Duh, Isabel, I swear to God. Sometimes my brain is dead at the end of the workday, y'all. Y'all get me on that. Um, I will be at the Georgia's, Georgia Pinners Convention in April. I'll be up there with Lori. So we will be up there. I know I'll be there. Um, I don't have any plans for any others right now. So we shall see. Most of the time, the thing about those conventions are um, me being a teacher. A lot of conventions I could only do, um, you know, if it's like a spring break, winter break, if it's in the summer. So, you know, I have to work around that. Can't quit my real life job. <laughs> my husband would not like that, y'all. I pay for the health insurance in our family. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, hold up. Let me get another one out here. Um, Deb, I had this one right here. I actually got from a wholesaler online, but I think you can find it in Craft Outlet as well. So, but this one's 10 inch. I think Craft Outlet has 21. All right, we're gonna go right up in here. What you're looking for is coverage, y'all. All right. Let me go back into here. Dana, I would love to meet you first. Oh, Sheila, I would love to meet you too. Oh my gosh. One day, one day. I think Lori's putting something down. To wait and see. Slow internet. I know, y'all. It, it sucks. I'm going to have my husband look at it and see if, if it, you know, if maybe it's as simple as start restarting the router. Um, I just can't do anything about what they're doing at the end of the neighborhood. They're laying down optic fiber down the entire road going through all the subdivisions. And from what I hear, everybody's complaining. We're not complaining about the optic fiber, okay? We're complaining about the internet service right now. <laughs> All right, so now I want to start, we have some space to fill in, but I'm going I'm to start working down here on angling it, okay? So now, when you angle it, you know, you don't want to just go out like this. You want to have it at a 45 degree angle. So you're going to pick your holes where you can get that 45 degree angle, all right? I didn't do any alterations to the holes that were on this side, okay? didn't do anything all right I do like mine longer at the bottom there we go all right and then I will ever so slowly start moving it up it's turning out gorgeous though y'all with the colors oh my god yes okay good all right yes yep that is what we're talking about Sheila Yes, I talked to Lori about that, and I said that if it happened during our fall break, our winter break, we actually have two breaks. We have our holiday break, a.k.a. Christmas break, and then we have our winter break, which is in February. Um, so I told her if it happened in that one, you know, I'd be able to come. Um, so we'll see when Lori just decides to put the cruise at. So... And I think that's going to be like a convention style, so I do plan on participating in that um, when if that comes to happen. So we shall see. Oh my gosh, this is like so cheerful. I almost wish I had a little girl right now so I could just go stick it in her room after we're done. The first one I made went to such an awesome place um, because the mom... Um, they just found out they were having a baby girl, and so they were decorating it with the unicorn colors. So these are great for marketing as a um, nursery wreath as well. Here we go. I'm just going to put that in there. Filling in some empty spaces. 
got that. I hear my son in the hallway running around like an elephant. I didn't lock the bedroom door. We should all bring our Harleys. <laughs> our Harleys? How are we going to bring a Harley onto a cruise? <laughs> or do you mean hubbies? <laughs> All right, I think I want to fill in some of these areas over here. So let's fill in some of these areas. I think I'm going to go right there. Okay. That was a four inch. I grabbed the wrong one. There we go. And then I'll get back to the main over there. All right, let's get that going. It's easier to fill in these spaces and then put the main on. All right, got that. Awesome, and then we're going to tuck it in here, so let's put another one in so we can tuck it underneath the burlap and hide it, and hide the tip of it so it's not sticking out. And you would do that for whatever method you decided to use doing the, these petals. Okay, I like how this one has a wispy look to it, but there's lots of different ways to achieve that effect. All right, twist and offset. So it's kind of like you're getting these like little leaves over here. Not that much, um, there's really not that much fraying going on. All right, let's finish up the main. And we are getting closer to using the end of the roll from it, what it looks like. So we are definitely going to be using a roll of this mesh for sure. Um, this is, oh, by the way, hi, Marlene, honey. Hello, hello. What color is this? Um, I call it dark rainbow. So, I don't know if that helps any, but I call it dark rainbow. All right, this one is tricky. Oh, okay, there we go. I had to look for the hole, y'all. That hole is elusive and hard to find sometimes. What can I say? All right. There we go. There. I'm going to stick that on in there. All right. See how you want it to go. All right. And pull it tight. There we go. Love it, love it, love it. All right. Here we go. And scrunch it, twist it offset it and you can see that you already have these two holes over here angled up those are the ones I'm using to do the main part part of the horse's main unicorn's main whatever you want to call it main okay all right like so okay and I think the next set see You've got that set off set up right there, so we're going to use that. I'm going to go ahead and preset that. At this point, you're just following it up. And we'll get onto the. Let me go ahead and turn on my hot glue gun because we're going to have to get onto the bridle. We're getting close to it. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, they kind of start off that way, don't they? Especially with the coloration. Okay, all right, we're gonna get that in there. All right, actually, hold up, wait a minute. I think I wanna put, well, we'll do this right here. All right, right there, yep, that's good. All right. And I'll paint the, um, I am going to paint the horn tonight because I do wanna turn this into a unicorn. So, let me check over here and see if we've got another set of holes. Yes, we do. Um, I think I want to do one more up, in, up here in this burlap, though, for coverage. So I'm going to go under here, and before I do the other part of this main, I'm just going to stick one in here for coverage. All right. There we go. He's getting big, y'all. She's getting big. This is supposed to be Rosie's sister. Rosie's sister needs a name. What should I call Rosie's sister? The light pink one was called Rosie. I wonder what this one will be called. Hmm. 
I'm going to do some thinking on this one. Maybe call her Violet, potentially. I don't know. I like to name my wreaths. Tulip. Tulip is cute. It does sound like a horse's name. There we go. Posy. Oh my gosh, I like that one too. Daisy. That's got some good ones. All right, forgot to preload this one, but if you look over here, you can see you have it right there, okay? So I'm gonna try to hold on to this without letting it go, and you're using the ones that are angled up, okay? That's what's gonna give you that nice little angled look, and it's gonna flow nicely together. This one right here will end up hiding inside the burlap, okay? So, kind of get it how you want it. Okay, there we go. Pull it tight. Okay, see how the burlap covers it? So you are golden, y'all. You are golden. All right, and then we've got it over here as well. Let me take a look-see over here and see where we are, how we're going to do this. Oh, okay, because I need to stick that in there. we got to go all the way up, y'all. What else do we have? Sparkles! I like that! Roxy! Name it Rainbow! Ah, Bobby, I'm so glad! Thank you! I really appreciate you stopping by too, sweetie. Alright, so at this point, you're going you're gonna to have to get creative, guys, because the holes aren't over here. I did not alter it. Um, I did it last time, so I can do it again. But I'm leaning... She's, do you see those right there? I'm leaning towards... Ooh, let me see here. It needs to go about right here honestly up oh, I see two holes y'all right there you see those holes that are hiding in there all right so we're gonna slide that in there it's gonna be hidden underneath the burlap anyway so nobody is going to see the top of the petal so once you get the burlap on here you may need to move the mesh move it just a little bit see and now we're gonna slide it underneath like so although it feels like we need to have another one in there y'all I think we're gonna have to add another one in here. Yep, but let me go ahead and stick this one in. Well, hold on. Ow, I hit my head. Sorry, didn't mean to, y'all. Up, uh, there we go. Okay, I see another one. Right, there's that hole. Okay, I found it. All right, so you are gonna have to, as you move up towards the very, very top, which is about like the last two to three pieces that you're gonna have to put in, um, you are going to have to just kind of maneuver around a little bit, but you will find the hole, I promise you. See? There. Just like that. Okay? Alright, now I'm going to lock it into place. Let me get the... There we go. Let me look over here. Missed the beginning. How big are the poofs? Um, they are the burlap part. I counted one, two and it measures between five to six inches so yeah there we go awesome okie dokie i might come in and put one more in there y'all just a little bit more i think i'm gonna put one more in here probably yeah all right but let's go ahead and move up let me see if we can if i can squeeze another one in there it's got to go right around here all right so i'll come back in and add that in a minute not a big deal all right, let's go ahead and take a look up here. Here, we've got a nice little section. Okay, this is getting big, y'all. I may have to move the camera in a second. <laughs> but I'm about to move the horse around, so don't freak out, okay? So, don't worry, you'll get to see it. All right. And put that in here. In we go. It's gonna be hiding with the burlap anyway, so. It's going to look nice and neat. There. All right. And then just pull the burlap back out. Okay. We're going to come over here, and we have those two right there. So you'll be able to see them, how they go up diagonally. Those are the ones you're going to want to use. Okay. Let me get that in there. Uh, wait a minute. 
There we go, that one. Sometimes it gets a little confusing even for myself. All right. You gotta play with it a little bit. We're gonna have to cut a few extra pieces anyway. So we are officially about to hit one whole roll. There you go. Twist, offset, stick it in there. All right. So I like that about right there. Okay. So now, where's my plastic? Okay, I see that part of the plastic. There we go. Okay, I see it. All right. Got it down tight. Okay, pull the burlet back over again. And then I think there's gonna be just one more. And that's it. Yeah, okay. One more for the back part of it. Give it a good twist and let me see. Yep, right about in here. All right, so we're gonna shove it in there. Let's see where we're shoving it into, y'all. All right, I like, I think, let's see, let's do, 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 do. I like those two right there. We're gonna go for those two, okay? They're pretty close together. I think I can get a four inch in there. There, right there. And go ahead and you're gonna lift up the burlap slide it on in to the distance how, how you want it to look with this okay and then just go ahead and secure it all right now we're going to do the top of this head if i can get this one if it's easier for you to use a five and a half you can but four and a half works too there four inch all right there we go Okay, got that. Woohoo! All right, so that part is done. So now let's go ahead and move towards the front of his head right here. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Look at those colors, y'all. I'm adding an extra one right here so we can fill in that space a little bit more. But isn't it gorgeous? All right, let's go ahead and we're going to do three up here. So we're going to need four. I've got one piece. We need three more pieces. So let me go ahead, because I use three up here at the top. All right, so let me go ahead and do that and cut that out for real quick. All right. Grab that. All right, and we got one and two and one more should do the trick. Woo, woo. Okay, there we go. I'll put this to the side. Isn't that a gorgeous mesh, y'all? Love it. It is gorgeous. It's like rainbow bright. It's like eating a starburst or something. All right, let's put that up. Thank you so much, Pam. Hi, honey. How are you? All right, let's go ahead and get up here. Um, I like to go right by the ear. So let me take a look, see where we gonna go. All right, okay. This gets to be tricky sometimes. So I wanted to go forward a little bit. One, maybe that right there, let's see. Okay, now for this one, all right, we're gonna do it the same way we did it. Bring it together, okay, twist it. And this one I do like to kinda keep it together a little bit more, okay? So instead of offsetting it, I kind of keep it together. So at this point, figure out where you're going to want his little thing to start. I like to start it right around, what is it? Because I'm gonna pull this up, so it's gonna be right around here. I want it right around here. So let me see what I've got for a hole. All right, and I see one, I think. Let's do in there, I guess. I think we can get in there, I hope. All right. This is the one where it gets to be a little tricky, y'all. Okay. Or you can go ahead and make an extra hole. I'm gonna use a five and a half inch because I'm gonna have to go over some. I might be able to, let's see if there's another hole in here, y'all. 
kind of move it around. Oh, perfect, maybe. Oh, perfect. You see how we've used this one? And there's one slightly diagonal from it. I'm gonna go for that. Let's give that a shot. All right, because I still want it angled forward a little bit. I don't want it sticking straight up in the air. All right, perfect. Yep, it's gonna reach y'all. All right, just like that. All right, so I'm gonna pull this out. Okay and get that in there okay. and pull this nice and tight y'all if you pull it nice and tight it will stay put see no show through perfect okay all right let's get another one and here we go Yes, dark rainbow. This one's dark rainbow. The other one I used is a light rainbow on the first one. Here we go. And so we're just gonna kind of follow it through. So same thing as last time. All right, you're gonna kind of have to look to see where you want the placement. And then I always try to make it diagonally. So I see a hole here and I see a diagonal hole that I can use over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the zip tie in there. And it does take a little bit of an angling. Got it. All right, and then, all right, we are going to go under the burlap here. All right, and let's see here. Hold on. We may, hold on. Maybe we'll go here. Let's see. Let's take a look, see y'all. Actually, hold on. Let's use this other hole over here. So play with it and get the positioning you want. I want it to get a little shorter as we go to the front. All right. I think I may even make longer, may add holes to it next time. Okay. All right, let's see if that works right. All right. There we go. Okay, perfect, awesome. All right, and let's add one more. Absolutely, sweetie, I'm glad. I'm glad you love it. Yes, ma'am, Miss Betty. All right. See where we can get it in at. Um, probably going to tuck it into this spot and let me see, all right, where we're going to do it from. Mm -hmm. I would actually like for it to go a little more in that direction if I can. Let's see if we can. Yeah, something like that is how I would like it, I think. So let me see what I can finagle there. Let's see here. How do we want this one, y'all? Kind of like it like that. That's a nice little look right there. All right, so since I want it like that, let's see what I have around here that can get me into that angle. I think I found one. All right, let me get a five and a half. And I think... I see a hole right here, so I'm going to hold it and go in. So how you angle it is your personal preference, okay? Okay, like that. Okay, perfect, just like that, yep. Okay, awesome. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and tie him down, y'all. there. Real tight. Okay, and then we just go move all the mesh around again. The burlap. All right, so lift the burlap up. All right, there we go. All right, get that up. Perfect, just like that. 
Okay, love that. Let me twist that a little bit more. All right, now um, I'm going to go and add that one in a little bit, but look at it so far. Isn't he gorgeous? Look at that. Oh my gosh. Um, let's see here. I got this one from a wholesaler, but I know that it is also on Craft Outlet as well. So now let's get our bridle going. I have three pieces of ribbon. I've got this one cut to cut to 18 and then I got a 12 and I got a 10 so we're gonna be using this to fashion a bridle for him all right so hopefully hopefully I cut it at the right angle y'all <laughs> all right let's see here all right it takes a little bit of maneuvering sometimes all right I'm gonna turn him a little bit and I'm gonna get on my stool because I'm short and I can't see. There we go. Ugh, now I can see better. I'm too short, y'all. I just couldn't do it. Um, because that way I can figure out exactly where I want to put this. All right. All right. Let's see here. Don't want to put it too far back. I'm thinking right here. All right. So, with that being said, let's flip him over. Okay. And let's see where we can put a zip tie in so that we can get into place. I'm gonna try to feed it through the back of this zip tie right here. See, like so. And then I'm just gonna close that nice and tight. Okay, all right. And then I'm gonna do the same thing up here, okay. We're going to get another one and we are going to feed it into, if we can, it might take a little finagling. There we go. Like that. Okay. And we're going to bring this in. All right. Let me go ahead and get it going first and then I'll slide it in there. There we go. Just like that. All right, and then you are going to tighten it up, cut it off. That's the hardest part, y'all, right there. Okay, now I can get back down, and we're going to flip it over. Uh-oh, maybe it's too small. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Let's see if we can't finagle it. I might need to trade it out for a 14-inch. I think I can make it work. We going to make it work, y'all. We gonna make it work. Yes, we will. There we go. That's better. All right. So we got that part. Okay. I think in the kit I'm gonna make it a 14 inch. All right. Now we are going to let's see here. How do we want to do this? We may have to cut some of this. Oh, my brain is so dead, y'all. It's ridiculous. All right. How did I? And let's figure out where we are going to have this. I like to do it right behind the ear over here. So I like this part right here. That's a good that's a good spot right there. Okay. So let's flip him over. Okay. We're gonna use that one. This song is gonna be stuck in that song's gonna be stuck inside my head. What song? Was I singing a song? Because if I was I was totally unaware of it, y'all. <laughs> Why don't I hot glue it? Because I will in a minute in the front, but not on the back. One, I don't want the hot glue touching those four inch zip ties. Um, it can melt the zip ties, okay? And I don't want anything to compromise the structure of it. So I personally don't do it. Okay. All right, so this is nice. All right, so let me flip it over. Hold up, wait a minute, do, 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 do. Okay, I get it. <laughs> oh, you didn't know you were going to go to chorus here, huh? You thought you were just coming to watch a wreath being made. Isabel hasn't even had a drink yet, y'all. Y'all be proud of me. I haven't been doing much of that. Not with the medicine I'm on. Can't do it as much. All right, there you go. Flip them back over. 
All right, we're going to fix his ear right now because his ear's all sloppy and messy. I just realized I forgot to get the, mm, the felt to do the ear. <gasps> all right, we're going to have to grab that. All right, now, the, yeah, this is where I'm going to end up doing some hot glue, y'all. Okay, this is where I'm going to end up doing some hot glue. I think, I think what, what we, I'm trying to remember how I did it, y'all. I think it was like this. I think I had it like this. All right, we're going to hot glue this part right here first, okay? All right. There we go. All right, this is where you sometimes hear Isabel starting to mutter a few words occasionally. This is where everybody says, why haven't you gotten those uh, glue thumb tip things? All right, put that there. There we go. Not too bad, not too bad. Oh, it didn't hurt. All right, there we go. I got a little bit at the top. Let me take that off a little bit. And if I can't get it off, I'll just go back over it with a marker. No biggie. Or I'll just take the whole dang thing off and do it all over again. Not a big deal. All right, so let's see. I think. Do, 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 do. Let's see here. How do we want to do this? I'm gonna go back. I want to angle it up there right there I like that spot right there all right let's trim it off a little bit Ugh. while I grab the scissors y'all okay ah, perfect all right and now that I got that there I don't want to move it too much all right put a little hot glue all right flip it onto the behind I didn't say your behind I just said the behind of this all right, here we go. All right, hold it there for just a minute. Oh, I just realized I'm missing something, but that's okay. We are gonna take care of it. All right, so we got that. All right, and then, isn't this thing cute right here? I'm gonna put that right there. Okay, and right there. How cute is that? OMG. There we go. Just hold it there for a minute. All right. I have a little bit of the ribbon sticking out here, so let me cut that other part of the ribbon there. All right. And let me grab um, the felt real quick. Hold up, y'all. Hold up. Do, do, do. Okay, now I don't know if I'm going to do this part right now because um, I kind of want to make his ear purple now. I don't know. All right, so let's go ahead and fix the ear. Okay, at this point, you have a decision. You can, um, you can leave them like this, okay? Um, or you can add an ear to it. I'm going to fix his ear up here real quick, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. Crazy, y'all. All right. I did do something like that. I don't know. I don't know what I did last time. But we're going to fix his ear. Okay. Hold up. Get a little bit of hot glue here. I don't want to put my finger on that. So I am going to get this clip over here. All right. And... We're gonna finish the front part of it. Oh, I know I forgot something when I did this. Because of all this purple, I don't know if I, I think I kinda wanna do the back of his ear with a little bit of purple, I don't know. Uh, you'll see what I mean in a minute. It's one of those moments when you've realized you've forgotten something. So, I'm gonna have to do some changes to it. I'm gonna have to do some changes. Oh, that's better. That's better right there. I like that, y'all. That is good. All right, we're gonna hot glue that too. All right, Miss Deb Deb, bye bye. All right, we're gonna put that together right there too. So let's go ahead and hold that into place. And then I kind of want to do the same thing here, okay? So right down here, go and get some hot glue. And let's get another clip and clip that sucker together, okay? All right, this one should be done back here. Almost, well, it got part of it done. I didn't get this part. 
they didn't go through it. Might be able to work on that though. Let's see here. There. Now it goes all the way through. All right, and what about this one? All right, good. This one sticks together, so we're good there. And good up here. And it just gets you more of that um, that look. Okay, it gets you more of the the ear look, so that you don't need to sit here adding anything else to it, unless you just want to. There you go. Just like so. See? Now you have a nice little horse ear going on here. Isn't that gorgeous, y'all? So at this point, I, you guys have to help me make a decision. I do want to make an ear for him. Okay? Um, the purple's throwing me, and it should have a purple inside. I'm thinking that would be really, really pretty. What do y'all think? So, because the other option is I could put the blue on the back and put the pink on the inside, but with all this purple, how I pulled out the purple ribbon, I think if I would have put pink ribbon, I'd be happier with the pink on the inside of the ear. Better. What do y'all think? I'm leaning towards it. All right, we are going to go with the purple felt. I don't think I have any on hand, but at this point, here's what I would do, y'all. I would cut out the ear shape. Okay, probably about four, about make it about four inches tall. Blue in the ear? We could do blue in the ear. What do you think about the purple? You think we should put purple with it? Hmm. I'm thinking, yeah, I, I do think blue and purple for sure. Okay, all right. Four inches tall, you cut out the shape of an ear, and then the other part that you're going to put on the inside, you just make it about a half inch smaller. Okay, so obviously I've got to go to Michael's and I've got to go pick up some purple felt because I don't have it on hand. Um, and then this is turquoise. So I'm going to make an ear. You could leave it like this though. It is gorgeous. Okay, it is gorgeous the way it is. Look at him. Isn't he adorable though? Or she? She's adorable. We've got to come up with a name. I'll name her. Um, so I am going to make the ear. And I do have a finished guy tomorrow as a unicorn. Um, but right now, he could be a finished horse, and you could sell it just like this, as is. So, um, yeah. So, again, here we use 6-inch burlap. Um, and then down here, we just did poofs over here. Down here, we used 10-inch uh, mesh cut to 10 inches a piece. We used an entire roll and we used an extra four pieces of a second roll, okay? Um, and we did not go through every single hole. Oh, let me flip him over, y'all. Hold up. Wait a minute. I know it keeps getting interrupted, baby. I'm sorry, Betty. Um, we're getting fiber optic fiber soon, and apparently they're doing road work up there, so I can't control that. But I do know that if you go back to the replay, it's actually going to play it smoothly, okay? So here's the back, just so that you guys can see okay so up here's all the burlap you can see that I skipped several spots up here with the burlap now if you're gonna get the kit from me it comes with 12 inch wide burlap you're gonna be able to skip even more spaces okay down here is where we did the petals and you can see that we started off using some of the bottom row but even there you skip some okay so you are not going to use every single hole that's on here that's the beauty of this you can be you can change it however you want to okay I will tell you that if you decide to get a kit um, here's what the kits come from for, come with first of all they're only 45 second of all they come with one roll of 12 inch burlap they come with two rolls of the rainbow mesh. You can choose the light colored rainbow, you can choose this dark colored rainbow. Um, they'll also come with uh, the pieces of ribbon that you need to make the bridle. If it's dark rainbow, it'll come with purple and it comes with a little pom pom. If it's light rainbow, it comes with pink and it comes with um, a pink pom pom. Okay, and then I'll also include the pieces of felt that you are going to need. If you so choose to create an ear, if you leave it like this, fine. But if you want to create it, create it. Um, and it also comes with a unicorn horn as well, okay, a gold one. So, um, yeah. So, But other than that, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Bobby, I'm so glad you enjoyed it. 
um, hopefully we get to meet one day in person and if you guys enjoyed it I know we had some internet issues but if you enjoyed it definitely you know I always love the likes and the shares don't forget to check out the contest on YouTube yes there's an actual person back here um, don't forget to ch ch check out the contest if you find the sunflower post you can find um, how to enter the YouTube contest so once we hit a thousand viewers $25 uh, unique in the Creek gift card and uh, we're going to do a kit as well. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Betty, thank you so much. Yes, it comes with the horse frame. And it comes with it already modified. So I already have it cut. Holes added for you so you don't have to worry about it. Okay, so yes. Comes with everything you need. I'll put the link on when I'm done. Thank you so much, guys. If you have any questions, um, put a comment in. Make sure to tag me in it. Um, and I'll definitely be able to help answer those for you. And uh, Jeannie, enjoy it. Definitely, you should make one. Um, and like I said, I've got 75 horse frames on their way to me. Should be here by Friday. So if you guys already placed your orders, they're going to be shipping out Monday. All right, guys. Love you guys. Mwah, mwah. Take care. Bye. Where's that button? There we go. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it.